welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is April, and for today's video, I have a huge haul. Sorry if you just heard the dryer slam. Um, I have a really big haul from everything that I got while I was down in Disney, and most of this is tea wear for the most part. There's a few other things um, that I will talk about as well. Some of it is tea, but um, some of it isn't. So I just wanted to show you guys everything that I got because there are some things in here that I absolutely love, and if you're a tea fan like me, you're going to love it too. So actually the first thing that I wanted to tell you guys is not tea related at all. It's these beautiful earrings that I'm wearing and this bracelet right here is actually very sparkly. This is from Miss Arkansas. She gave this to me, Lexi. It was so beautiful. She comes over to me and she goes, I have a happy for you. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, I have a happy for you. And I was like, what is, what is the happy? And she hands me this bag and I was like, like a gift? And she was like, yeah, a gift. And I was like, what? like what kind of term is that? I've never heard somebody use that term before. So if you use the term happy as gift, I don't know if it's just a southern thing or I don't know where it came from, let me know in the comment section below because I thought it was really interesting and so now I keep calling gifts happy every time um, I talk to someone because I think it's really quirky. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is a few different kinds of tea and actually two tea cups with tea infusers that I was sent by my friend Alexandra as a send-off gift to Nationals and I was so excited about it I just wanted to make a video on it. So these are five different Russian teas. This is Kuzmi tea? I, th I think Kuzmi is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Please tell me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But they are very interesting. I had not tried them yet because I wanted to haul them before I actually tried them but I will let you guys know what I think about them as I do with the rest of the teas that I have. So I was really super, super, super excited about this. Also, I'm not 100% sure if these are bags or if they're loose leaves, but I believe that they're loose leaves because there is no bag number, um, like count, bag count on here. So I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that they're loose leaves. I will let you know though. And then I got two of these mugs with tea infusers. It is a mug that says no pants, no problem, and a little guy who like hangs out on the edge of your mug and that is the infuser right there. So I thought that was adorable. And that was all shipped from Bloomingdale's so you can get that at Bloomingdale's if you like it. I'll try to find the links to everything and list it in the description bar below. By the way guys, I made a chai latte, an iced chai latte and I'm having some major anxiety over it. I think it was just a little too much when you're making an iced chai latte. You put more tea leaves in it than you typically would if you were making a hot chai latte and I think that that is causing some anxiety overload right now. But I'm still gonna drink it because it tastes really good. And I bought this mug, I bought this tumbler, whatever you wanna call it, at Target a few weeks ago. It was the last one that they had there and it's glass, it's BPA free, so yeah, go check there if you wanna keep one. Okay, and then here is another <laughs> tumbler. Um, this is really nice. I love getting these ones because this is really nice for the iced ones, especially because you can't typically drink them out of a small teacup because you don't have enough room for the ice. So um, this is nice for on the go. This one has my Miss New York United States logo on it. This was given to me by my director, Tina. So thank you, I love it so much. And then the last tumbler I'm gonna show you guys, I swear, it says do more of what makes you smile. And with love right here with the shape of the state of Minnesota. This was given to me from Miss Minnesota. So, okay, there we go with all of our tumblers and everything I can keep all of my ice drinks in. Okay, next I'm going to show you the honey that I bought. I'm sorry that this video, by the way, is going to be a little bit lengthy, but I just want to thoroughly go through everything and show you guys everything that I got without missing anything. So these two honeys that I got and a chapstick, this is from the Savannah Bee Company. So if you've ever been to Disney, there is something there called Disney Springs. There's a bunch of shops, a bunch of um, restaurants. We even went on a little mini hot air balloon ride there. So that was a lot of fun. And one of the little, I guess it's not necessarily a kiosk. It's like a little shop that's located in like the path that you're walking on is the savannah bee shop and it's a honey shop so i tried all of the honey that they had to offer and i'm telling you i loved every single one of them i couldn't get enough of any of them i could literally just sit there and eat honey all day and i don't have that big of a sweet tooth anymore so that's pretty impressive for somebody like me and you guys know that i don't typically sweeten my tea with honey or sugar but in the event that I would sweeten the tea, I would do it with honey or cinnamon. Um, but this honey was like out of this world, so I need to show you guys what it was. This is their rosemary honey. I cannot tell you how good this stuff is. I'm going to cherish it forever, and I'm gonna keep buying it and buying it and buying it and buying it and buying it because it is that good. Also, if you guys like to cook, I highly recommend uh, using this on steak. I don't know if you guys like cooking steak. I know some people are 
vegetarian, so that I don't know. But, um, or with cheese, obviously it's really good with cheese, but if you put this on steak, your taste buds will thank you for the rest of your life. So this one was my personal favorite, was the rosemary one. And then I got a little mini version of the sourwood one. I really love this one too. Pat likes this one a lot. Um, so I got a little mini version of this. We're gonna try out which one to see which one we like better and obviously repurchase it from there. Also, they gave me a little chapstick and there were a few different options that I can choose from. There was like honey chamomile and all that kind of stuff. But they had one that was Earl Grey and it wasn't even a tea shop. They didn't sell any tea in there and I was like, uh, yeah, that's screaming my name. So obviously I got that. Okay, you guys are not ready for this. So this I bought in Magic Kingdom. Actually, this was actually gifted to me from my parents. <sighs> this it says i'm late i'm late for a very important date curiouser and it curiouser um it's got alice and the mad hatter on one side and then the white rabbit on the other also you guys know i have the entire alice in wonderland tea collection but this one also comes with the topsy turvy tea blend it comes with earl grey pomegranate the mad tea party blend uh, English breakfast, but it also comes with the Topsy Turvy blend and that's the only one that does not come in the big collection if you get the entire collection Which I've shown you guys that before but so that was a giant plus for me I was very thrilled with that that I got to just have an extra flavor tossed in there But how adorable is this? I was so happy when I bought this I'm telling you this was like my happiest moment down there was like finding this teapot But I have two other ones that I can't wait to show you. This is a cute little Star Wars mug that I bought at the Star Wars shop that they have down in Disney Springs as well. Guys, and then there's this. And this is also from Alice in Wonderland. It's got a bunch of cute little teapots and tea cups right here. And then it's got the White Rabbit. It's got Alice and the Mad Hatter. And it's got a loose leaf tea in it. It's got a blend. I'll read this to you. It says it's got a premium blend of Indian black teas, ginger peach, and apricot flavors. So it's going to give you that warm, spicy kind of flavor, which I'm really excited about because summer, I know we're still in July, but in my opinion, especially if you're in New York, summer goes away at the blink of an eye. So I feel like fall is right around the corner and I'm going to absolutely adore this. And can we just like Look at this, how cute is this? This thing could not be any cuter. Okay, and then my mom was adorable and she got me this little New York mug from Starbucks. So I thought that was really cute. Oh, I also got this from Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. I think that they are the sponsor aside from Twinings uh, or I don't know if they're a sponsor or they're just um, a collaborator with Disney because everywhere you go in the parks, you're gonna find Joffrey's Tea, uh, Coffee and Tea Company, like little stands and boots there so they had the actual store in disney springs as well and this was the raspberry rose petal flavor so i'm very excited to try this it does say that it is a tart flavor it's sweet raspberry tart hibiscus lemon and rose so i'm curious to see what that is going to taste like it is caffeine free naturally so that means it's not a green white or black tea it's i guess just an herbal tea even though on the side it talks about how all of the teas come from the Camellia sinensis plant, but obviously this one doesn't since it's naturally caffeine free. This adorable little rose mug, I don't even know if she knew this, but Miss Louisiana gave this to me along with some really awesome kale chips that were like cheesy kale chips, like you can get them down south, and what we call a praline, but it was really good and I had never had one, so I was really excited about that. But she also got me this and it says A, and then if you look inside, there's a little rose like right there, but I don't know if, I mean, she might know my middle name is Rose, but I don't know if she knows my middle name is Rose, but it's like A, then with the rose. Like, I don't know if she knew how perfect that, that was, but it's really perfect. Okay, so when I was in Epcot, this was back in December, I had wanted to buy like everything in the England Pavilion's Twinings tea shop there. Obviously, I wanted to buy everything, but... I didn't. I held off and I was like, okay, I'll find the perfect time to buy everything. And so this is the perfect time. Obviously everything in that store, there's a little bit of a price raise, obviously, because you're buying it in Disney. The only thing I will say is I did find the teapots that I bought were more expensive online than they were in store. So, but the actual tea, like if you buy the Twinings boxes of tea, you can get them way cheaper outside of the store. Um, but you know, you may just want it for keepsake or something like that. But I had wanted to buy these in the store anyway. I didn't even know the price when I walked in there. I didn't know it was going to be cheaper. It wasn't that much cheaper, but still a difference. And this I bought for $40. This is just a little milk dispenser from Alice in Wonderland. Sorry if you hear a monkey running around. Um, and it says, oh, this is like my favorite. It says, begin at the beginning, and when you come to the end, stop. I think that is so cute. 
I just want to keep this on my desk and like pour myself like black tea with milk all day long just because of this thing. I think it's so cute. Okay, and I'm saving my two absolute favorite things for last. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting these forever. So a lot of you know that I'm going to England in the fall. I cannot wait to go. Um, Peter Pan is also one of my favorite movies. I also love clocks. So, you know, the whole like tea situation and all of that is like right on my alley. Let me show you this James Sadler teapot. Look at this. How adorable is this? It's the Big Ben. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I found it online for like 70, but in person it's definitely cheaper than 70. And I loved this one so much. When I first saw it, I was like, I have to get it. I have to get it, I have to get it. So I was so excited. I found this one and I was like, I love it. And then I found another one that I loved just as much. So I had to get them both because I couldn't decide which one I wanted more. So sometimes you just have to treat yourself. Um, but I love this and I just want to drink tea out of this all day. The only downside, I guess, it's not really a downside or anything like that, but I kind of wish that it came with an infuser just at the top, just so you can steep your tea in the actual teapot if you're using something like loose leaf tea, which a lot of the times I am. Some of the better teas are loose leaf teas, especially you guys know I love my black rose petal, which is loose leaf. Other than that, who cares? Cause this thing is so cute. And then the last thing is another James Sadler teapot. Again, these are like more collector's items, but I'm going to use them because why the heck not? I use my real china anyway. Look, this is a London teapot and it's just got the city of London. And I just, I just love it so much. I think it's adorable. So that was everything that I got while I was down in Disney and I'm so excited to use everything because I'm always buying tea but not really tea wear, tea accessories, anything like that. So I feel like this was a nice addition to my entire tea collection in general. I'm really excited about everything. So I know that this was a little bit of a lengthy video. I hope you guys stayed until the end to watch it because those two last items were my absolute favorites. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please let me know in the comments below if you find any cute teapots that you think I would also like, again, to just add to my collection because I realize I'm just collecting everything, so I wanted to add to it. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was a little bit lengthy, but I did want to show you guys everything that I got. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you guys didn't watch my last video explaining what my life is going to be like post pageant and a whole update on that stuff, you can go click right here to go watch that. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.